there's no feelings of animosity. I'm not mad at the guys who injured me. I mean, I know they didn't do it on purpose. It's just part of the game. And I've accepted that. I've never been mad at them or the game of football. It's part of the risk you take while you're playing football. So I've accepted that. When it first happened, being a football coach, I thought maybe he was had a concussion and he'd be okay the next day. So I didn't think much about it when I got, got that phone call that Saturday night. Then that morning, my wife called again, so it was a lot more serious than what we thought. And it was a very danger, a big danger of him uh, not making it. So I rushed down there that Saturday, that Sunday morning. And once I got there, it was the situation was a lot more critical than I ever thought it would be. I'm pleased with my recovery, especially seeing where I was when it first happened. I was just laying in the bed, not knowing I was laying in the bed. Like I was in a coma. So I'm pretty happy with myself. Knowing that I've touched that many people's lives, I'm sure I'll never recognize how many people it was, but it feels good to know that my accident had it happened for a reason, and that I touched that many people. In my line of work, always football, football, football. But now it's more family. You know, we all have priorities to do. We have things to do for the family. But enjoy, enjoy your kids. Enjoy your kids.